Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be doing Zoro, the swordsman Zoro, doing his one sword style, Shishi Sun Sun. So it's that pose, you know, he's got the, the handle of the sword coming out. <clears throat> it's really dramatic looking, so we'll give it a go. It kind of looks pretty cool. Um, I'm on landscape orientation paper. Use a pencil and eraser and hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand. Take your time trying to have fun. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Have fun is the main thing. Try and enjoy yourself. So, since point to my page is about here, I'd say what would be here? Center point, so if his body, yeah, like the center of his body sort of here, his head will be above. So, what would we begin with? I think we'll have to begin with his arm, right? Because it's like the most prominent thing in the image. So, right, so say here, right? We'll just start with a sort of a curved line. So it sort of curves around here for the back of his arm. Right, so curving around. And we're going this direction, okay? So the bottom of his arm sort of comes out this way. Right there. So then this will join his forearm, right? Which will go to here. And then it will be down this direction. To his wrist. And on this side, so we've got like his elbow. It's kind of simply drawn and asked me there's not like crazy detail in it or anything. And it comes down this way, right? So it's quite big as it comes down here. And then we have um, lots of like scratches and stuff on this, like lots. Um, maybe like a forearm line there or something. But just lots of these. Hatching lines like so. Might be a line for his wrist sort of coming out down here. So this comes up for his thumb. So it'll go like so. And then across. Like that. And the thumb is like sitting on top of the blade, so it goes up and down. Just there. And maybe a bit more curvy. And the blade. So it just comes down this way. And we'll go around. Like so, down here. We could see like a little bit of his thumbnail, something there. At the top of his thumb. So like, um, Curved a little bit in here. I think this could be like more of a shadow line or something in there. And then this will come across. Like so. So this sword, the side of it, go into his hand. So his finger kind of curves out here, and we have a knuckle, comes back, down and in, that way. Then the bottom of his hand comes down like so, so we can just see not much in the way of knuckles or bumps or anything, it just comes down this way, and then across like this, and then back up around into his hand here. And then we may have some knuckle lines. Like so. And maybe like another one here. And again, some sort of scratch lines and things. So that's his hand there. Like a vein, is that a vein? I'm not 
not sure, like a vein or something. There. Yeah, and this line on the thumb, I think that's doesn't need to be there. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Just this line here. So that's his hand, right? So real long, sort of skinnier up here gets real fat down here, right? So then the rest of this, so it comes up here and then we have the top of the sword handle there. And it kind of goes around this way. And then we have the bottom of it comes up around down to there. And around again down here. So it's like just this is like the top of the sword handle. Like that. And then we have all these crisscross lines coming across. Like so. And then some going this way. Okay, so then his head is like in here, right? So we'll just draw like the side of his face first. So his cheek comes out like there. And then this will go up like this. Into there, right? Then we have his hairline that comes out and around down into his shoulder. Right, we'll do that, yeah. bandana wrapped on his arm then well his bandana it comes down around his arm I think it's like tied in here somewhere so we got like a bow sticking off here back in and the other side goes off this way Then, so what we can see of his eyes, not much. So it's mostly shadow. So we've got like a frown line here, comes back. And then his eyes are in shadow. So this like comes down here, back up to there. And you just color this in dark. Side of his nose will come down from like this part of his eye, just there. And then the other side here. And then we'll bring this up the side of his head. Like that. And this eye is in shadow as well. And we might have like some frown lines and things here. face like lots of these scratch marks and things this and then what we can see so of his ear just like sideburn ear comes around into there and then his hair kind of comes up from the ear here and then we've all these spikes that come around his head Real sharp, sort of. And remember, hair always moves 
and so you don't have to do it exactly like mine once you get the sort of general shape coming around his head and it's real sort of spiky stuff now it's a real exaggerated sort of hair spikes So, and then it meets like his shoulder or something there. And this will have like all texture lines and stuff on the inside. So you're just adding more lines like so. personal preference really right and then sort of shoulder line or something over here so kind of comes in towards his forearm yeah, hard to make out but there's like these two bumps just like that and then I think his shoulder sort of sticks out collarbone and then comes around there might be like some scratches and things on his shoulder here and then the other side of his shoulder comes out from behind his head just up here and then comes down around like that and like another line just for the fold of his clothing and some more sort of fold lines here as well all right so we get his back in now so it just bumps in here for his shoulder blade and his waist will just be there. All right, and then this line curves like across real big. So it'll go like across here. Down to about there. And just, so just underneath his shoulder, we'll have a line just coming out here and then that goes back that way so then we've got like four lines here scratch lines like so and then he have that we have that big green waistband that he always wears so this will just come down from behind body here and then the front of it kind of bumpy because it's got like all these four lines and things on it down to about there and then his, his so his trousers aren't so they're not drawn in it's just this like black blob for like his two legs right so it comes out here and it's like all oh, zigzag because he's moving super fast right and so then this line comes across far out so this goes out <clears throat> we'll bring it out to about here and do like zigzag lines like like that as well right and there might be like if you want some center lines or something like that but it's all just colored in black and then on this green part we have um, lines kind of bumping down like so and he's got like a couple of fold lines here. So you'll have to do, you know, the these lines that come vertical, they'll have to bump over these lines, right? It's just because that's the way fabric works. So, you know, so like, for example, these will like bump down to here. And then this will come over. Down like that. And then it's like a double line as well. So we've got like double line up here and then this comes down snaking down winding down like this kind of thing and, and like we just keep kind of doing this so you'll do that one there and then
like so. Okay, so. So what can we see of his? So let me see if I can just get an image up here. Should have had this ready before starting the video. Where's the, there. Okay. Can we see his hand on that one? <clears throat> is that his other hand? I don't know. Okay, well. So we can see the hilt of his sword in here somewhere, right? So like it comes out from his hand, curves around and up, and across to about there. And then the steps down, and then back across, and then up around to there. And it goes up into there, and then we have the bottom. Comes in. Another line curves around here. Like so. And then there's some more sort of details and patterns on the sword inside. Another line. So like the outside edge. Back in that way. Something else on that there. And so then we can see sort of the white of the sword. The blade, I think itself, kind of just going in here behind his body. And then what it should be his hand, I think. Shoulder. So let's just go like hand here. It doesn't make sense in the anime. And so we're kind of just, so it's like sitting here. Like I think this should be his thumb. Right, so I think yeah, that one makes a bit more sense. So like his thumb there, and then like a wrist bone. All right, so that's like his other hand resting on. The, you know, the sheath of his sword as it slides in, right? So, there. Um, I'm gonna add another stripe line there. And then there's th three more swords, right? So, top of that comes out here, back in around. So it kind of bumps like this, the top of that sword. So, and then it'll go in underneath here. And then we have like a diamond, you know, that classic samurai sort of pattern. Like another one under there. And then this sword kind of keeps going that way. And then bottom of the hilt of that sword. And then another diamond there. And then one more sword going this way. Down, comes around behind his body. Down to there. Down like so. Down like that. Diamonds here. Into there. And then something else here. Oh, and there should be another line here, and maybe like one more, just coming down the back. Right, and then we can see just the back end of these swords just coming, sticking out here, right? So we can see one just going out like so, going around, back to there. 
this goes down like so. And to there. And up here. And then that goes down like so. Right, and then you can add like debris and stuff just coming around, floating in the air, like sort of these pieces of rock or something just. And if you want, like, so he can have um, sort of these sort of speed lines, right? That's what I call them. So, like, lots of these kind of lines coming off of his, they're kind of motion lines just to show the direction. You can use a ruler if you want them, like, super straight and all going into one angle, you know, if, you, if you're like a stickler for that kind of stuff, you know? Maybe something like coming here. Yeah, you don't have to be afraid of it. You can, yeah, you can literally add them over your image wherever you were drawn. So, but I think that'll have to do. That's everything. That is how to draw Zoro Shishi Sonson. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.